Well, hey there, welcome to the backyard. I'm Greg, and today in the backyard, we're talking about groupings. Check it out. So the goal in archery is a good grouping, right? Where all your arrows are, are together in a nice tight circle. Now, as with most things in archery, you ask 10 different archers, what's a good grouping? You're gonna get 10 different answers. And those answers are gonna range anywhere from four inches to one inch. Uh, for me personally, uh, a good grouping is when I can find all my arrows. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that most of the time. Uh, but, but the goal is to consistently get all of your arrows in a nice tight pattern, a nice tight grouping. Uh, and it depends on your, your range, your, your, your distance. So how much does distance affect grouping? Let's find out. All right, so let's start here at 10 yards. See how I do. That's not bad, but that's 10 yards. Let's move back. All right, we're back at 15 yards. Let's see how I do. All right, not quite as good as 10, but not bad. Let's step back. All right, back at 20 yards. Let's see how I do. Not quite as good. Let's move back one more time. All right, back at 25 yards. Let's see how it goes. Well, that was horrible. So for me, at least, the farther back I get, the worst my grouping is. So what does that mean for us? Let's go to the workbench. So getting good groupings is hard. And the farther away you get from your target, the harder it is. It's the same for us as followers of Jesus. The farther away from God that we get, life gets harder. In the book of Ephesians, Paul is writing to a group of people and he's talking about what life was like before they knew Jesus. And in Ephesians 2, 12 to 14, he says, in those days, before you knew Jesus, in those days you were living apart from Christ. You were excluded from citizenship among the people of Israel, and you did not know the covenant promises God had made to them. You lived in this world without God and without hope. But now you have been united with Christ Jesus. Once you were far away from God, but now you have been brought near to him through the blood of Christ. For Christ himself has brought peace to us. He united Jews and Gentiles into one people when in his own body on the cross, he broke down the wall of hostility that separated us. Life close to God is better. Life farther away is harder. That's why Psalm 16 uh, verses 7 to 11 says, I will bless the Lord who guides me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad and I rejoice. My body rests in safety, for you will not leave my soul among the dead or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. You will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasure of living with you forever. Life close to God is better than life far away and distant from God. What will you need to do this week to draw close to God? 
you work on that. Until next time, you keep aiming for whatever it is God has called you to do and to be. Thank you.